Hello and welcome back to the show. In today's video, we are going to be checking out the Wajo self-defense weapon. This is a taser gun that actually doubles also as a flashlight. It comes with the following accessories. A belt clip, a charging cable, and the gun itself. Versus an actual taser. This is slimmer, small, rubberized, and makes the perfect self-defense weapon. The Taser self-defense weapon cost 150 bucks. This one cost around 50. So which one is better? Well, when you shock using the Taser itself and something happens to the weapon, you have to leave it at the scene of the crime, Taser will actually impose you and give you a brand new one, all for free, if you do give the police report on the other hand, the larger, you use this one and something happens, that's it, it's gone. That being said, the cost of this is three times less than a taser. It's also small. So why do you need something like this? Well, when you go outside, it doubles as a flashlight. Because it doubles as a flashlight, you can use it for that intensive purposes. This is great because if you need a flashlight, you can actually use it as such. With the taser, it's too big to be actually used as a normal flashlight. So this could be actually used. Now, a few things that you need to know. One, forced use. You should charge this at least 12 hours before its actual use. Next, every single week you should be charging this at least 5 hours every single week. Otherwise, it's not going to be effective. So don't complain if you try to use this as a taser and it doesn't work well if you forgot to charge it for an entire month. Let's turn this on. I'm arming it right now. The lights is on. Let's go ahead and taste the camera. <laughs> Just kidding. But this was definitely loud. Now, the taser itself makes this noise. It also turns off right on the back, which is the safety switch over here. This is a great little weapon that you can definitely have on you in case you need this for self-defense purposes. Furthermore, this thing, the aggressive face over here, could also be used as a weapon in case you need to fend off your attacker. Overall, I think this is a great little weapon that you could actually use for yourself. If you need a self-defense weapon that is small, micro in size, not too big, and of course, you live in the United States, this should be legal in most states and jurisdictions as well, apart from maybe a few small places. And those places, they're not going to ship it to you anyways. So if you place the order and you're not really supposed to get it, your order is going to be cancelled. Where I live, this is legal. It's actually one of the better alternatives to pepper sprays. Although I do recommend pepper spray first before you go ahead and try a diesel gun. And don't ever use this for anything other than fending off an attacker. This is a great little weapon, small in size, perfect also doubles as a flashlight, and inconspicuous. Makes a great gift for somebody you really care and love. Make sure you get this to somebody just in case. Better a uh, safe and peace of mind than knowing somebody is in danger. One of the best and smallest self-defense and portable weapons you can have on the market for a very cheap and reasonable price of 50 bucks. Let's go ahead right now and unbox this little cool tool and see how it looks like up close and personal. Unboxing of the Rajo's paper spray. This is the box it comes with. It is not actually something cool. The box itself is something you should just, you know, trash it. A little bit of plastic over here. I do like that they don't actually use too much plastic, being really environmentally friendly, you can recycle this plastic over here, 
and there is just a piece of paper here this is the actual instructions of how to use this thing and pretty much nothing to it really the gun itself comes like this and there is not much here as well there is the charger over here it is pretty old school by the way and we have the actual gun itself and the gun holder the gun holder is not much of a holder right here it is actually kind of cheap as well but what do you expect for like 50 bucks you're not going to get anything that is really out of the ordinary for this money that being said this is actually a pretty good choice for just 50 as a self-defense weapon if you need to charge it all you have to do is to put this in and charge it into the wall now this actually is the biggest drawback of this gun is the charger itself if something happens and you don't happen to lose this part right here this thing becomes totally useless so always keep this on hand because this is a very important part of this gun otherwise you have to pay some money and buy a replacement thankfully this company does sell replacements for this I do like that they have this piece right here that you can hold this in your hand now let's talk about the gun itself it is pretty simple mechanism over here I do like that you can't actually confuse which is the firing side and which is not this was the power with the stun gun from Tazio you can wrap your hand pretty easily with this and to turn this on is very simple the first way you turn this on is right here so pretty much it's a light that turns on right there just like that and the light actually is shining right through this it's kind of bright by the way that's one method for you to do self-defense is just shine this in your target's eye pretty much and hopefully it will scale them off now when you turn this all the way in there's actually two places for you one is the light another one it doesn't actually do anything this is the zapper by the way all the way up is actually the zapper pressing on this doesn't do much right now now if you do it right in the middle where the light actually shines and press on it it's not going to do anything at all now to arm this knife not a knife but to arm this weapon right over here you're going to be pressing on the on switch right there once it's on you're going to be moving it all the way to the zapple to know that the zapple is on this light is going to light up now when you press on this this is going to start shooting bolts of lightning it's pretty loud but the good thing is that this is all rubberized which actually prevents aftershocks from hitting you back specifically what I call it blowbacks this doesn't happen with this because it's all rubber the taser itself was metallic because it was all metal easily this the taser itself could shock you all the way back when you just press this button which made this not a really good weapon unless you use gloves on you like police actually do maybe I had a defective unit what I like about this one is that there is zero possibility of blowbacks zero possibility of you grabbing the wrong handle and nearly zero possibility of you shocking yourself accidentally by not knowing when this is actually armed which was the case with the taser too over here there is two different safety switches and you kind of know when this is on and you have to put this right in the middle right there but when you move it to the middle and you move it all the way with the light being on you can see that now it is activated so the taser is activated but it has to be on the on position right here for this to actually used let's turn this off when it's off you can see right here it's not on anymore so you know that you can't accidentally turn this on when it is in the off position 
So practically it's a self-defense weapon. What you have to do is to put this in an armed position and then turn it on if you have to and then press this button right here. Overall, it is an excellent self-defense weapon.